Penn Family Album, an album started by George Westinghouse during an era when new inventions were amazing the world, way back at the turn of the century. In Paris, the newly opened Eiffel Tower pierced the heavens. The X-ray was developed by Röntgen for the benefit of all humanity. In America, the first gasoline go-buggies chugged over the roadways, while in a small electric products plant in Pittsburgh, a prophetic young man produced, of all things, an electric fan. That man was George Westinghouse, and his fan introduced a new era of more comfortable living by electricity. For an insight into the foresight of this man, let's turn back the years and relive the fan family album. Well, well, who's this? Why, she's Miss 1890, a little lady of long, long ago. For the first time in history, she brings beach breeze comfort right into the home with the introduction of the very first electric fan. Yes, it's in these gay 90s that Westinghouse introduces the great, great grandpappy of fans. Pretty fundamental, this old knuckle slicer, but it boasts an induction type motor of the same basic design used on fans today. And rightly, therefore, this very first fan enjoys an honored place in the Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. Well, then in 1891, Westinghouse genius produces this pedestal model fan. Still pretty crude, maybe, but it's the first fan with a universal motor. <laughs> and all of that extension cord would make a swell clothesline. Just three years later, in 1894, we come to this improved model, <laughs> right down on its haunches again. You know, the ups and downs of the fan business. And funny, nobody even as yet has got around to putting guards over the blades. Ooh, we spoke too fast. Just a year later, this 1895 model does appear with a protective guard. Yes, sir. Here's a fan that's beginning to look like a fan. And then, in 1902, Westinghouse brings out a fan that tilts. And you can bet it tilts competition for quite a loss. But now, hold everything. Because now we come to the year 1909 and another resounding fan innovation. A fan that oscillates, as Miss 1909 so coyly demonstrates. And this very first oscillating fan dumbfounds the industry. Its side-to-side -side action is created by the wind stream from the blades blowing against the veins on the guard. Yes, it's a fansation. But how about promotion back in these early days? Well, this old 1907 catalog cover would seem to be promoting the form divine. But inside this cover, or uncovered cover, the boys really get down to business, as witness this early ceiling fan all in pieces. But here, only a couple of years later, is another pneumonia nymph catalog cover. This little lady really gets the bird. The years take their toll, and by 1918, our former cuticle cover cuties make way for this bundled babe. But how about fan ads? Here's one. In summer days, how flies do swarm. How tired you get when you are warm. The electric fan puts flies to flight, makes you cooler day and night. <laughs> yes, it's hard to imagine, but ads like this actually made people fan conscious back in these days of World War I. And here's a glass slide used in movie houses back in these early 20s. It's calculated to make folks scurry right out and buy Westinghouse fans. And believe it or not, it does. But real fan progress continues. Here we have Miss 1922 with another first that stumps all competition. A 
an entirely new kind of blades, micarta blades, lighter in weight, bend-proof, quiet. Micarta blades are a lead on which Westinghouse could rest for years, but such is not the case. Because, in short order, they pioneer with another first, a one-piece, modernistic, welded steel fan guard giving blade protection both front and rear. And with their rich silver oxide finishes and attractive base design, we find Westinghouse fans leading in beauty, too. And then, just three years later, on its master airline, another first, the capacitor-type motor with the amazing economy of operation, a true engineering triumph. The fan parade marches on. Miss 1937, a little lady as streamlined as her times. And what does Miss 1937 bring us? A completely new line of up-to-the-minute fans. A new line of pace-setting, streamlined Westinghouse power airs. And here is a typical example. With their overlapping micarta blades and other revolutionary advances, the 1937 Power Airs are one more reason why Westinghouse continues to lead the parade. And in 1937, with a line of big 24-inch oscillating Whirl Airs, the only complete line of long-range air circulators with micarta blades, and the very first big air circulators with oscillating action. And now we come to 1941, and five entirely new Power Air Beauties. Also in 1941, a line of new and revolutionary Whirl Airs, of which this is an example. This new line surpasses in beauty, design, and performance anything offered by any fan manufacturer anywhere. But highlighting this year, we have Miss 1941, and she's really a pacemaker. She leads the way in every sense of the word with another line of outstanding fans. And here they are, a feast for the eyes. A line of four brand new pacemaker fans, reflecting smart individual design treatment in every detail. Every model abundantly living up to the highest traditions in beauty, power, silence, and long life. But now comes war. Westinghouse goes to war. And during the next five years, this company turns out more than a third of a million fans for the United States Navy and Maritime Commission. Westinghouse shipboard fans serve honorably in war. And then, with the return of peace, is the resolve to achieve an even more preeminent position in the fan industry. This resolve is manifested in 1947 with the introduction of a new 10-inch lively air a competitive-priced fan that opens up vast new markets. Also in 1947, the Power Air built-in type home ventilator. Ultra-modern, it features an easy-to-clean grill with a single pull chain activating both the motor and its outside insulated shutter to seal against the weather. In the next year, 1948, there is the Power Air window ventilator to change the air in the average kitchen every two minutes. When not needed for air exhaust, the fan simply snaps out to become a conventional 10-inch fan. Now we come to Miss 1948 with the biggest fan first of all. Yes, Miss 1948 brings us a fan that scoops the whole industry. An entirely new kind of fan for both daytime and nighttime cooling. It's the sensational Westinghouse Mobile Air, the portable home comfort cooling fan. Yes, this big double duty fan, when used for air exhaust, can change the air in four or five rooms every two minutes. When used for daytime cooling, it's a completely portable draftless air circulator. And how is this amazing performance achieved? First, by its deep-pitched micarta blades. Second, by its patented air injector ring assembly. Third, by its more powerful motor. 
These three features combined enable the mobile air to provide an entirely new kind of comfort cooling, day and night. During daytime, lively air circulation anywhere. During nighttime, when placed about three feet back from a window or door, the mobile air exhausts the hot inside air and draws in the cooler outside air through other open windows or doors. Let's watch how the mobile air works to animation. The arrows show how it exhausts the hot inside air and draws in the cooler outside air, quietly, efficiently. Yes, the mobile air makes 1948 a momentous year in Westinghouse fan history. But there are other great firsts to come. For example, here is Miss 1949, who brings us four thrilling new fans. Fans with the radical new Westinghouse air jet vanes for the solution of every long-range air circulation problem. The new Westinghouse Whirl Airs of 1949. Two counter models, a 16-inch and a 20-inch. Two pedestal models, also a 16 and 20 inch. But the revolutionary features of these new 1949 Whirl Airs are their air jet vanes, combined with their air injector ring assembly developed for the mobile air. These patented designs give the greatest fan performance ever accomplished. Let's see how they operate. With a conventional fan without air jet vanes, a spiraling motion is created in the air blast. This quickly causes dissipation of the air stream. But when we put air jet vanes before the blades of the same fan, the spiraling motion is stopped. The airstream drives forward in deep, straight penetration. This is much the same as a searchlight lens concentrates its beam of light. Yes, the air jet vanes are another outstanding first in 1949. But Westinghouse continues to recognize the importance of competition in the low price field. The answer in this year, 1949, is the sensationally low-priced oscillating lively air. This new quality-packed 12-inch model is a companion to the 10-inch 1947 lively air. But how about those millions of people who work in offices? Well, here's Miss 1950 to assure us that Westinghouse provides comfort coolness for office workers, too. Because in this year, 1950, an entirely new kind of fan is introduced into the line as Miss 1950 proudly shows it to us. It's the brand new Debonair Hassock model with the air jet principle. Here's a fan which, because of its ingenious design, including jet action with air injector rings, delivers more air where it's needed without annoying drafts. But in spite of the enthusiastic acceptance this 1950 Debonair receives, only two years later, in 1952, there comes a new and improved 16-inch debonair. Draftless, quiet, powerful, it provides an all-around flow of cooling air. And when equipped with its hostess tray, it makes the ideal combination of fan and service table. When the tray is not in use, it's stored beneath the removable top of the fan. 1952 is another big year in the fan family album. But also in 1952, we have a new 16-inch deluxe window fan. When mounted in its window panel as an exhaust fan, it completely changes the air in one or two rooms every two minutes. Or when simply lifted out, it becomes an efficient floor or table air circulator. Uh-oh, who's this? Why, it's Miss 1953 with another big fan first. What do you bring us, Miss 1953? Is it really different? Oh, it certainly is. It's America's most versatile home cooling unit, the new Westinghouse Riviera. Like the famous Mobile Air, the Riviera offers double capacity. Because of its deep-pitched blades and its patented air injector rings, it's really four fans in one. As you see it now, it's a room circulator. Place it at a window facing in, and it's an air intake fan. Simply reverse it so it faces out, and it's a powerful exhaust fan. Or simply place it on its back on the floor, 
and it becomes a hassock fan that cascades a fountain of air into every nook and corner of the room without annoying drafts. Yes, Westinghouse is justifiably proud of its 1953 Riviera, which brings beach breeze coolness right into the home. But now we come to one of the biggest fan years of all, 1954. Let's see what this truly momentous year offers. First, it brings us a new 20-inch deluxe window fan, big brother to the 16-inch deluxe of 1952. Facing in, it sucks in the cool outside air. Facing out, it becomes a powerful exhaust fan that will change the air in two to four rooms every two minutes, or simply lift it out of its mounted window panel and use it on the floor or on a table as a lively air circulator. Yes, the introduction of this big 20-inch deluxe window fan would seem to be enough for 1954. But what have we here? Why, they're twins, alike as two peas in a pod. And just what is your contribution to Westinghouse fan history, Miss 1954 Twins? That's right the new Westinghouse Big Twin, an entirely new kind of window fan. Yes, the Big Twin window fan delivers more air for its size than any other fan on the market. The terrific breeze-making secret of this giant lies in its overlapping blades. When operating in a window, they give it an air exhaust capacity of 4,000 cubic feet per minute. Or when used as a portable air circulator, it has a capacity of 6,000 cubic feet per minute. The window mounting bar and sill bracket are easily installed. The fan is easy to slip into place. Facing out, it's a portable exhaust fan which changes the air in four or five rooms every minute. It's the modern successor to the attic fan. Reversed so it faces in, it becomes a powerful air intake fan, and the window can be closed when it's not in use. Also, in addition to its uses as a window fan, it makes an ideal room air circulator when placed on the floor or on a table. The safety mesh grill protects the fingers and its two speeds provide giant or gentle breezes as desired. Miss 1954 Twins, we're proud of you and your big twin window fan. This year, 1954, is a tremendous year in Westinghouse fan history. It's... <laughs> What, there's still more? Lo and behold, there is. Another Miss 1954 introducing one of the greatest fan innovations of all times. And this Miss 1954 brings us a fan that points the way to the whole industry for years to come. The new Westinghouse Riviera 15 the fan with the patented air injector rings and air jet vane design. This amazing fan introduces an entirely new concept in air circulation. It's a whisper quiet fan, as different from the ordinary fan as a jet from a propeller type airplane. Let's see how it works. As we saw before with a fan without air jet vanes, a spiraling motion is created in the air blast which causes dissipation of the airstream. But just as on the whirl air, the air jet vanes of the Riviera 15 throw its cooling air to the most distant corners of any room. Instead of spot cooling, it keeps a smooth overall flow of air circulating all around the room. It can be tilted and locked in any position to deliver a fountain of air wherever desired, and it can be easily mounted as a wall bracket fan. Miss Riviera 15, you represent a memorable year for Westinghouse fan history, because really you represent the fan of the future. Yes, the Fan Family album holds an inspiring story of Westinghouse as the leader in the fan business, a story that will be continued through the years. But this company does not merely manufacture fans. They follow through with every kind of promotional help. Among those helps are films, motion pictures for sales training, consumer and television uses. And here are a few of them. Sam Vining, the famous Westinghouse sales consultant in Taking the Hot Air Out of Fan Selling showing the way to easier, quicker fan sales. The Bundys Breeze Through, a Hollywood-produced movie that gives sensational, sales-stimulating results when used for training or for showing to consumer groups. 
A third movie, A Hot Time for Mr. Bundy, produced with a full Hollywood cast, especially for television. And it's also excellent for sales training. And Sell Em Where They Use Em, a full color movie featuring Walter Massenberg and Andy Anderson of the Westinghouse Fan Department as they explain the proven free home trial method of selling fans. These films and others are readily available to distributors and dealers as helps to greater fan sales. Yes, through the years, Westinghouse has led the way in bringing beach breeze coolness and comfort indoors with fan firsts in never-ending cavalcade. Miss 1890. Introducing the very first electric fan, a Westinghouse. Miss 1909. Bringing us another early Westinghouse first, an oscillating fan that scoops the whole industry. Miss 1922. And my Carta Blade, a resounding innovation in this year and still an exclusive fan first with Westinghouse. Miss 1937. Bringing us a completely new line of power airs, featuring many advances over all competition. Miss 1941. Heralding four new Westinghouse pacemakers, featuring the very last word in smart design treatment. Miss 1948. And what a year. The sensational new Mobile Air, the roll around fan for night or day cooling, a fan that scoops the whole industry. Yes, Miss 1948, you're a year that will be remembered. Miss 1949. And four thrilling new Whirl Airs with the exclusive Westinghouse air jet vanes that solve long-range air circulation problems. Miss 1950. And this little lady brings us the new Westinghouse Debonair, the Hassock model fan with the air jet principle. Miss 1953 with another great Westinghouse first, the Riviera. The four-way reversible window fan, America's most versatile home cooling unit. Miss 1954. And our twins of 1954. Representing the revolutionary new big twin window fan that delivers more air for its size than any other fan on the market. Yes, this has been the history of Westinghouse as the leader in the fan business. But somebody's missing. Where is our Miss Riviera 15? Oh, here she is. You can laugh and have fun. You can smile at the sun when a cool breeze blows your way. But you don't need a yacht when the weather gets hot to keep you cool and gay. No, you don't need ocean breezes. You can see what I mean. You can cool off quickly with a Riviera 15. So come along, join our song. There's a place here for you in a bad family album review. Yes, here's our family album, Beach Breeze Comfort. Yes, indeed. There's a Westinghouse electric fan for every cooling need. Our story's one of quality and reputation, too. A product built to make the sales job easier for you. So get aboard, here we go. A part of our show as Westinghouse makes history. As long as cool breezes blow, there's a future you know with this great fan family. Westinghouse has been the leader since my 1890 date, and now.